What's with these friggin' deer? Every time I sit down here, my character gets surrounded by deer. I think the reason is because, um, your character, like, counts as a fucking, uh, physics object, and they try to walk over here, and they get stuck in your character or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It just feels a bit odd. Anyway, uh, maps. I'm not sure how big this zone is. I'm assuming it at least goes from here to here. I'm hoping it's actually fairly large, because I'm getting kind of annoyed at these zones that look like they're big, but they're actually just a series of narrow valleys. It's a little annoying. Like, a lot of these zones have completely intraversible areas. Right, and I didn't go over here. I don't know why the trees are hovering above the ground. That's a bit weird. But yeah, wasn't there a boss out on the fucking thing? Anyway, whatever. I need to get these. And wasn't there another one further down? I can't tell. Whatever. I'm guessing... You have to go around to get those. Weird. And then there's this, which I don't think I looked at at all, which is, that's a for real castle. There's something here, I don't remember if it was a dragon or not. Oh yeah, it was like a big skeleton or something, wasn't it? And then I don't think I actually went over here and fought the Erd Tree. Oh god, and there's another castle over there too, or an observer. No, it was a rise, I remember that's what it was. I was like, how do I get up there? Um, I think there's a boss out in the ice flow here, because I didn't fight anything. But I do remember being like, I bet there's a boss over here. And then I left. Hey, a jellyfish. Given all the ghost animals, I'm going to assume it's like a spirit or something. Maybe it's a giant jellyfish. I noticed some of them are oscillating between red and blue. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Oh, maybe it's gonna be like, um, Sinner, Sacrifice for Redemption. And it'll be, uh, oh, there's another one of those fucking... Okay, the loop on this one appears to be pretty short. Really? Nothing? Damn. There we go. Oh! It's, uh, the fucking uh, bloodlust. I wonder if that works the same way I think it does. Yeah, it does the Chikage's thing. Usable on all swords and pole arms capable of thrusting. Okay. Sure. Yeah, boss fight. That's what I thought. I'm kind of curious as to what it could possibly be. Unless the ice is just going to break. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me at all, but it'd be kind of disappointing. I kind of want it to be a big jellyfish. Like, this fucking answerer comes in in jellyfish form and does a giant Kojima attack or something. Uh, what's happening? I feel like something's gonna come out of the fog and kick my ass in about two seconds. Huh. I see. It's an ice dragon. I was wondering what the deal was.
Is he aggroing the jellyfish towards me? I'm just going to ignore this one for a bit. Because his fucking breath seems way more powerful than the most recent dragons I've fought, and he's doing a lot of really annoying jump arounds, and this environment is not suited for it. I think I'll let him slide for a bit, since I don't really care about ice breath right now. What I'm hoping is that he doesn't appear any point on the lake, and it's just that one corner. Because I don't want my progress to be halted by having to fight him, because that would suck. Mm. Was I carrying a lot of souls? I can't even fucking remember. Well, I'm not sure I care either. It's not like souls are, like, hard to get at this point in the game. I care more about losing the rune arc, to be honest. Yeah, because now I'm heavy load. Whatever, I don't really need the, uh... Damn, it looks like it's the whole lake. That kind of sucks. Well... Eh, could be worse. Oh, huh. What the hell? That was weird. Is there? Wait, is it just... No, there was something here. My character was bouncing off something in, that was standing here. There's some invisible thing here. I can see footprints on the ground, too. Footprints I don't think are mine, because they're too small. They're like wolf footprints? Yeah, see, these are like... Or is this the horse footprints from Torrent? I can't tell. But I walked up here, and my character bounced off something in the environment. And now it's gone. Huh. This one takes two. Damn. God damn it. How many of these do I have? Fifteen. That's a lot, but I'm sure I'll find a way to blow through them pretty quickly. Spirit Caller Cave, huh? Alright. Try Dark? Well, I bet this place sucks. What? <coughs> oh, I didn't even see that. Damn. Yeah, I bet that's one of those ones that collapses, right? Oh, this is kind of pretty. Yeah, I'm liking this crossbow a lot. Mm. Hey, you know this cave kind of reminds me of that cave in Spyro 3? The one that Hunter tries to get you to uh, fly to during the hover tutorial. Where you get the uh, first uh, super flight power up in the game. 
I always had a lot of trouble with that for some reason when I was a kid. I think it's because the um, looking controls in the original game weren't very good, so it was kind of hard to uh, get Spyro to maneuver through the cave clearly, uh, cleanly. I don't know, I just I always had trouble with it. Maybe I'm an idiot, but... Eh. This is actually... Damn, it's an actual path. Fuck. Um... Off left, short person. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a trap. Money. Rune arc. Hero's rune. Sure, why not? Well, that at least fucking makes it so I don't have to worry about multiple branching paths, but, you know, whatever. It's not really precious item so much as it is precious consumable. I wish they had different colors to denote different items, because it's like, I don't want to risk my life for something that's essentially just 10,000 runes. It's like, it's appreciated, but it's not exactly worth... Huh. Well, that's interesting. Fuck. Forgot about stamina. That was totally my fault. I wasn't looking at my stamina gauge, I was looking at his uh, fucking health bar. <sighs> also, I forgot because the rapier does way less, or takes way less stamina. Gummy bears. I don't know why. Gummy bears are like one of the few gummies I actually like. I fucking hate gummy worms. I don't know what it is, but most gummies, especially gummies of that like type, I can't stand them. I can't eat them at all. I don't know why. They make me feel weird. I don't know if I would go so far as to say... <clears throat> oh, shit. I forgot. Good job, me. They wouldn't go so far as to say they make me feel sick. But I know I don't like them. Shit. Okay, come on, guys. Wow, this sucks. Holy shit. Yeah, this fucking sucks. Man, awesome. Oh, weird. Wow, he was really close to me. I wonder if I defeat him, like, without the fucking snail call- or, or like, if I defeat him without killing the snail, if that gets me a specific item. Because that's how it worked in Dark Souls 3, if you killed Rickert without, um, killing the snake thing first. Oh, man.
I wonder. Can I stealth this? I can't believe Dark Souls has actual for real stealth sections included in the game now. That's so weird. But not all of them. Damn it. Oh, cool. It's a fucking white version of the armor I was wearing before. I kind of want to wear that now, damn it. Why is this cave so for real? It's got a fucking wandering patrol in it, for Christ's sake. And these wolves are super tough, and they won't de-aggro. I'm glad there is at least a, a verbal cue that tells you when they're going to turn around. If that wasn't there, that would be, like, this would be so much more difficult. This is really interesting, though. This is, like, the most interesting dungeon that's been in the entire game. Fucking hell. Where did you come from? Damn it. Really? Really? Mimic, I could use some help. Like, seriously, come on, Mimic, hit the damn thing.
Fucking hell. <sighs> that was not the boss I wanted to see at the end of this. Oh, you motherfucker. You're kidding, right? Seriously? Breakdown. Ow. Shit. Damn it. Seriously though, two of them? You gotta be fucking kidding me with that. There's not even a stake of America there. That's a solid run from the fucking beginning of the cavern to the end. Fuck that. If those snails stay dead, then maybe, but they don't. So fuck it. 
I'm sure there's something awesome down there, but it can wait. I want to know what was in front of this place. Is it nothing? Am I just crazy? Probably. I can't see shit. God damn it. Yeah, this is my favorite. Oh, fuck off. It's the whole zone. Really? Great, so he totally obstructs progress for you. You have to kill him, or at the very least, figure out what the fucking map is. Great. Yeah, I love area denial enemies that fucking completely obscure your vision. the first one. I was wondering. You know, I'm not seeing the whole point of these given that, once again, I've never been at a point in the game in which drinking an Estus Flask didn't completely heal me. Hey, what's up? Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Mm-hmm. In Marika's own words, Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each <sighs> ordeal to the place ye stand. Something like that. Man, this game really is just a combination of every single thing we've already done, right? We've got the fire, we've got the beasts, we've got the war against the giants. The fact that all of this is pointless and the main characters are like, fuck this shit. We're almost there. The flame of ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. Yeah, where exactly are you staying while I carry you to this flame? Too. Thank you, Torrent. Also, Please can you tell Torrent to quit end. glitching out? Till the end. Great. Shall I turn or let my well, I can't. I just wanted to check to see what the number was. Nearly ten thousand. I'm surprised it hasn't broken ten thousand yet. Huh. Yeah, I think what I've got is still the best version. really wish I had been able to kill Ringleader. I want that fucking uh, summon you get from them. Oh, yeah. Fuck, that reminds me. Um, apparently I missed something in the fucking 
black knife thing over here, the Sainted Hero's Grave. I should go get that at least. I think I can run all the way over to it, though. Right, I forgot about my lantern. It's still too fucking dark in here. Anyway, um, yeah, up there. I forgot you can ride these. I don't care for this entire mechanic, to be honest. But whatever. Fuck off. So lame. Good enough. Do they just endlessly fall from the sky? Because that wouldn't surprise me at all. There it is. I'm guessing that increases... Oh, right. Damage reduced from dragon attacks. Ooh, shit. Oh, it's just physical damage negation. Shit, I kind of want to put that in. There we go. And then, yeah. Can I please open my fucking map now? Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. Seriously? They aggro from- or they stay aggroed from so fucking far away. Right, I guess I'll go find that fucking... map or whatever. I wanna have this zone- like a good handle on how this zone is. Before- 
a continue onward with anything else. I think we're getting to the point where I'm getting a little bit pissed off at the design of some of the stuff here. Like, I could rightly do without a few of these annoyances. Oh, hey, an Evergel. Lord Contenders. Yeah, I guess I'll see what it is. Since everything in this area has been, for the most part, pretty tough, I'm not under the opinion even remotely that I'll be able to tackle the vast majority of bosses here. Oh, it's... Oh. Of course. Oh, weird. He's using the same spear as me, but he I'm not taking frenzy damage from it. Weird. I am taking a fuck ton of lightning damage from it, though. Fuck that input reading, too. But yeah, we're using the same weapon. His just does lightning instead. That's a bit odd. Or actually, it doesn't look like it does any damage type, which is why he's able to infuse it. He also does not take frenzy damage. Fuck off. Oh, it's a storm version. Weird. I notice we're getting to the point where most enemies cannot be rotted, which is a bit annoying. But I can interrupt him with this, so that's just as good. Oh, heh. <laughs> Those are those abilities I would have gotten from What's-His-Face if I cashed them in. Apparently they're good in PvP. He doesn't seem to have any ability. He'll just keep doing that forever, it looks like. Whatever. Works for me. Oh, cool. Oh, weird. That's the real version of Vike. That's kind of interesting. I guess what I thought was the ins he went insane from being stuck inside this ever jail. So the only thing he can do is cast out his insane phantom version of himself to go fight other people and what I thought was the real version of him. That's kind of interesting. Cool. Because, yeah, they did talk about how Vike apparently was good enough to become... Like, he was, yeah, a contender. He could have been the Elden Lord if he hadn't been trapped there or something. Well, that's kind of cool. And it's been singed, so it looks like a fingerprint. Yeah, it's like, this is... This guy would have done it. If not for the fact that, um, like, 
Okay, so this guy got to where you got. He got to the tree, the tree said no, and he came here and got burned all the fuck. That's actually really interesting. His armor looks sick, too. Like, damn, his armor is actually really cool. Kind of reminds me of Artorius' armor, actually. I like that a lot. What else can I do? That's pretty good. That looks really good. Oh, hold on. Um, I didn't read his armor. Okay, it's the same. Only I could use the Moonlight Greatsword. I kind of want to fuck around like this for a little bit. Because it looks cool. Oh yeah, I didn't read his special um, incantation or whatever. Or is that an Ash of War? Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's an Ash of War. It would be cool if it was. Damn, that is cool. Oh, weird. It's a weirdo version of that spell I picked up earlier. Okay. No, I'm gonna run around like this for a little while. I don't care how unviable it is. I bet it's super unviable. Hmm, <laughs> this looks like something that's gonna attack me here. Oh, God, really? Well, I can't equip those fucking... I wonder if this actually will work here. Somehow I doubt it. Damn it. Hey, I'm only one off now. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty far from it, too. 
I have a sneaking suspicion pulling out Torrent will make me put my torch away, so I'm going to hold off on that until I know where I'm going, because I'd rather not get chased by a bunch of these fucking enemies. Because holy shit, I hate these fucking enemies. I should upgrade this torch if I'm going to be holding on to it. It doesn't look like they'll... Yeah, no, it doesn't look like they'll attack me if I'm holding it. Yeah, will you? Okay, guess that only works in Kaled. Good to know. Man, I'm loving this camera angle. Isn't it great? Fucking Christ. Maybe I shouldn't be using an ice weapon in an area filled with uh, fucking... Whatever. Well, I guess they're not ice creatures, but still... I don't know what's over there. I don't reckon I actually care. Hey, that kind of looks like... No, never mind. Oh, hey, there's a thing right here. Weird. So you guys are chill, huh? I want a shield that fits my set a little better. Let's see what I have. Also, put some of this stuff away. I kind of want to use this a little bit, actually. I'll keep it on me as an option. How about that? Okay, what do we have? Oh, I can use this now. Wasn't even thinking about that. Um, jellyfish shield, Lord's Horn's great shield. What's with all these non-physical reduction, uh, great shields? Yeah, that works. And it has no weapon option, so that's good. Okay. Hmm. This is the only one I've seen so far I'm fine with keeping the cape on. Hey, you guys are covered in bramble. That's interesting. Mm. Let's see how this goes. I wonder if I've horribly crippled my mimic by doing this. Maybe. I hope not. Oh, man. Can't catch a break in this place, huh? Shit. Fuck off. terrible. I don't know if it's as good as my uh, previous build. Where the fuck is the map?
This place sucks. Hey, that's a big giant. Wow, Dark Souls too much, huh? Is that a Yeti? That's a Yeti. Or a troll, I guess. Huh. Didn't I... Weird. I hope nothing starts shooting arrows at me. Because that would just be redundant. Oh, hey, there's a grace right next to it. Great. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that gives me an alternate plan of attack for getting into that flame castle. Touch grass. Hey, this is not quite as expansive as I was hoping, but it's definitely better than nothing. Still a lot of, like, intraversible terrain, unfortunately. That's always a little annoying. Mm. Not sure how I get over here, though. Since there seems to be a pretty solid, like... Oh, I bet I go underground at some point and come out over here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think the later stages of the game are a little bit less detailed than the earlier stages for some reason. Or maybe not less detailed, but more condensed. I don't know how I feel about that. This does remind me a lot of the Northern Wastes, though. At the end of Fable 1, I should sit down. Man, enemies drop a fuck ton of souls here. That's kind of interesting, actually. That was too many. 